Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer. Swallowtail Ranger variant, is the perfect gorilla fighter mech weight I made this joke already having the same endurance, speed, and techie side of its later version, Swallowtail RV does its support thing a bit more differently, where Swallowtail was more about offensive support with on-demand shred, Swallowtail RV was more on mobility support with on-demand speed. It could make new terrain on the spot, allow allies to move faster when it locks on, and it alone completely ignore difficult terrain of any kind, it even has a core passive that lets it turn invisible in a goddamn bush, just remember that lock on counts as hostile action, and its core power lets all of its allies do that too, just becoming an entire group of sneaky boys. In the following 40 builds, Lotus Projector and Marker Light will get used quite often to see hostile and support its allies, Oracle, is just a really good long ranged gun in enough number, and considering how much Swallowtail RV loves supporting and sneaking, retractable profile is good for it, only Athena and LBOC cloaking field get used less often but they are still very useful for support. As for the roles, Swallowtail RV is of course, primary a support mech, but with its ridiculous sensor range and weapon mounts, it can do controller and artillery stuff quite well, it's not too shabby as a striker either, and considering how much it loves its allies sticking close to it, there's quite a few defenders Swallowtail too. Anyway, let's get going with the support controller first. A fourth for bridge is a rather standard Swallowtail RV with Athena to see everything, and if that wasn't enough, you have spotter and black thumb for more lock on and support, just stay in a bush to become invisible, and keep on seeing stuff and supporting your allies, plus Osiris for some total domination and autopod for extra damage, if you don't mind becoming visible. And that's it, a simple support and controller Swallowtail Ranger, with all the lock on to keep your allies moving like goddamn speed runner, it's a shame that it's only for once per round but honestly, that's probably for the best to the GM, there's already Atlas for pure speed after all. Craftsman class battle controller is a half kid swallowtail RV with both Neuralink black spot, leader, and spotter to provide a lot of accuracies to its allies, plus forge 2 squad and omnibus plate for all the emplacements it wants, smoke charges also work as a good source of soft cover for itself, and using multi gear as tripwire can work surprisingly well. This build is also built to work in tandem with a battle taxi swallowtail, which is also featured in this video, you will know it when you see it. Bridge Troll is a retractable swallowtail RV that's more about supporting and throwing all the rocks to explode them for damage while being a smaller target and unable to attack, since swallowtail loves to have allies sticking around it, House Guard is actually quite useful to extend the effect radius of spotter and bonded, but HG2 also lets you become a cover itself, Hive Drone also provides soft cover, and you gonna see it and house guard a lot in this episode. Smoke Machine Machine is also another retractable swallowtail RV, with a focus on taking cover with Hive Drone, seeing everything with Lotus Projector and Eye of Horus, plus Ferris Lash to move things around, it also has held image and spotter to lock onto everything, and house guard to provide more support and protection to its allies, retractable profile is just really good for swallowtail RV, sometimes you just want to get smaller to not attract attention. Jack O is also another drone commander swallowtail RV, just hide and throw out all the drones to make even moving as annoying as possible to enemies, besides having leader, spotter, and held image, drone commander itself is also an excellent support talent with some offensive power, heck, held image basically just lets you throw free movement at your allies every turn, it's so good. Teleporting in the 90s is a half sons a swallowtail RV, because you can never have enough mobility, blink space tunnel, accelerate, final secret, warp rifle, just all the mobility you ever need, plus having infiltrator makes sneaking easier and it will make the OP cal unraveler hits a lot harder. Thrifts into nowhere is a flying infiltrator swallowtail RV that figures it should get a lot of tech systems to go with its ridiculous sensor range, Horo S1, Osiris, Neurospike, all very painful to the enemies, plus Horo S2 and Veil rifle are very good tools to protect your allies with. A pebble in your shoe is another Osiris Swallowtail RV that's intended to be as annoying as it sounds, with plenty of other tech systems to do tech stuff with, plus having dual Stormbringer Sharanga missiles to knock enemies around, preferably right into Javelin missiles for plenty of damage, Ghost Weave also lets it be invisible even outside of soft cover, and having Hacker lets it counter hack tech attacker real easily, or just cook someone up. Lastly, there's Fog Beast, 
a half-lich swallowtail RV with unhinged chronology and wandering nightmare to vent time for both its allies and enemies, with Horo S1 and Ferris Lash to move even more stuff with, and smoke charges are always good, I would recommend having triple light nexus instead though, that make triggering senti main way more easily. And that's it for the support controller swallowtail RV builds, maybe these builds don't look very fancy, but your allies will be very thankful for your support when they need to move a lot or take cover, and your enemies will curse your name for how miserable you have twisted their life, 20 sensor range is no joke. Now, let's get going with the support artillery builds. Arlo's Hathcock is a very typical oracle spam swallowtail RV with crack shot and gunslinger to further boost its damage, while swallowtail RV cannot shred on lock-on, oracle spam is still very powerful against targets with low to no armor, plus you have a vulture for thicker target anyway, and LBOC cloaking field makes allies around you invisible too. Living as an act of rebellion is also another crack shot swallowtail RV with oracle and vulture, but now with HS mag clamp to climb quickly, marker light and tracking bug to keep a target on sight, and neuro spike to keep the target unable to attack effectively, plus it has spotter, which is always good. Cartographer is an Athena swallowtail RV with dual oracle but also a neurolink slag cannon with siege specialist and seismic river to remake the landscape completely, plus, it has Athena, spotter, and held image for plenty of lock-on, along with purifying code for some painful invade. Murder by proxy, is a dual auto gun swallowtail to free up action for either Sisyphus or Pepcock for plenty of support, Hunter Lock is good for damage too, and withheld image and leader to provide accuracy plus houseguard to provide protection to your allies, your buddies would like to stick around you very much. All I see is smoke and guns is a triple auto gun swallowtail instead, with Athena to see everything plus having the held image spotter combo around for all the lock on, also having smoke charges, however, auto gun don't benefit from talent, so having siege specialist isn't exactly useful here. The trees speak Hersinia comes packing with dual smart gun instead, one of which has uncle manning the gun with auto stab and OP cal, just to make it more dangerous, with infiltrator and crack shot for more pain, however, this thing has barely any system points left for other things, so it only has a lotus projector to see hidden enemies, not even having drone commander to make it more survivable. I hate you most of all, not my word, just the title, is a swallowtail RV with dual bolt nexus, which get very painful, once you hit someone with it, also a bit low on range at first for artillery, which is why it has siege stabilizer, and with mag clamp plus Kai bioplating, it can really climb and hide well anywhere, with roller to keep unwanted things away from it. Finally, there's 10,000 lightning bugs, a heat fall azure swallowtail RV with dual neurolink bolt nexus, so it can fire as much as it wants every turn to kill everything, even has nuclear cavalier and infiltrator for more pain, plus RSU for quick stabilize when the heat gets too much. And that's all for the support artillery swallowtail RV builds, which can certainly poke quite painfully at a distance while still providing plenty of support and mobility to its allies, with its core passive preferring it to stick close to cover, it's no wonder there's plenty of artillery builds for it. Next up, the support striker builds. Spotting them up close, is a Vanguard DSAS Swallowtail RV with a paired knife and hunter for a lot of mobility, also comes with flicker field to be hard to hit on the move, and Horo S1 plus Neuro Spike for some invade when needed, OP Cal Autopod is nice to have around too. Basically, due to the ridiculous sensor range Swallowtail RV has, it can easily play as the controlling hacker at a distance, and once it gets close, just stab everything, it can easily make a lot of things miserable at pretty much any range. This is not a build of honor is a cloaking swallowtail RV with infiltrator to hit some unfortunate fellows real hard, but mostly it's going to retract its profile, make all its allies invisible, and then support them with spotter, or just throw rocks and bombs everywhere, having some loading weapons you can quickly dump for damage work nicely too. Irate Hermit Crab is a bristle crown exploding grappler swallowtail RV that uses its speed to get fast and hug people to death with SMN, plus, having dual hive drone is nice, and it also has a cable winch to keep its target from running away. Fortunate Sun, of which there's two builds which has the same name because of course, is an infiltrator swallowtail RV that likes to both impale and trap people as one third lad, and sneak away when things get dangerous as one third metal mark, the perfect guerrilla warfare build. Lastly, there's rest for the wicked, a lucifer swallowtail RV to boost the damage of its torch or thermal rifle to the next level, and with hive drone, as soon as it plasma gauntlets someone to oblivion, it gets to be invisible for safety, even has infiltrator just for even more sneaking. And that's all for the support striker swallowtail RV builds, again, 
Not only do you have 20 sensor range to hack someone far away, you can easily become a very difficult target for enemy strikers just by standing in a bush as soon as your turn ends. Finally, the support defender builds. Bell Bottoms is a Azura House Guard Swallowtail RV with black thumb and spotter for plenty of support and defense, and it's designed to be carried on a battle taxi so it doesn't need to move much and could focus more on all the support, which with Swallowtail RV's trait, could make it go even faster, and if any of your allies need more action, just use Spotter 3. Mapmaker Mapmaker make me a map, that just sounds like a threat, because this is a Swallowtail RV build that just plop down bunker, shield, and cover wherever it wants and just shoot anything that gets too close, replacing Jericho with TSS1 might be a better choice though, it gives you more covers and more rocks to throw anyway. Petri class Land Cruiser is a Fomorian Battle Taxi Swallowtail RV with Bonded, House Guard, and Argonaut Shield to protect and support its rider, and also Juggernaut to just run through everything, Whitewash and Flash Charges also make things a bit difficult for enemies around it, just annoying them a bit, which makes things very lethal for them as its rider destroys them with ease. Hound Master is a House Guard Swallowtail RV with a cable winch to drag its ally around, with Speed 7 and Accelerate, who gives a shit about being slowed, just pick an ally, drag them around, and give them all the support and protection they need. Finally, there's Secret Admirer, a Swallowtail RV with dual Neuralink Vorpal gun to harm those that harm its allies badly, with Cloaking Field to keep its allies even safer and Lotus Projector to make sure enemies can't do the same, Range 8 Vorpal gun is just really painful. 1025. And that's all for the Support Defender Swallowtail RV builds, while Swallowtail might not be the most durable frame around, its high amount of repair cap compared to most SSC frame make it a much better frame for it, plus it loves having its allies sticking close to it, and it could turn invisible in soft cover, so it kinda works out. And that's all 40 Swallowtail RV builds finished reviewing, once again I would like to thank all of my viewers who have submitted their builds for this episode, Swallowtail RV kinda straddles the line in support between Sunzi and Saladin, providing mobility to allies through lock-on, as well as giving out terrain and invisibility for cover, it could even be quite tough itself as it can turn invisible easier than its more advanced counterpart, ironically. Some of the builds for Swallowtail RV work surprisingly well for the original Swallowtail 2, I highly suggest that you should take a look at Houseguard for it, anyway here's the topic for the next episode, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.